Hey best friends, so I'm gonna be a little bit loud because there's people playing in the pool um, and how my uh, apartment complex is set up, like the pool's in the middle and all the apartments are around it. So yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit louder so you can hear me. As you can see, I'm in my leather PJs, so you know when I wear these, you know what the fuck that means. The bitch is about to get creative, bitch. So, um, I'm going to do a little video of me trying to fix an issue I noticed a lot of women were having with the dread wig. This is the um, Outre Expression Long Locks. And this one is in a 1B. That was all they had when I tried to get it. And this one is in a 1. Um, I noticed that the wig... Uh, let me take this out. This is what the front looks like, by the way. Long locks. And the color 1. Um, I'm going to be a little bit uh, trifling. Let me throw this to the side for now. I just want to stay in the frame. So. so this is a wig, basically. And um, I'm going to show you some other videos where girls are wearing it. I'm allergic to the lace, y'all know that. I just got to stop using my hand to touch it. Now, the wig looks very realistic. But the issue is not the front. It's the back. The back is basically like a 27 piece. Like you have to keep it in place or it's gonna show nothing but wig. And here are some pictures of girls wearing it and the back showing, like really? This is what I wanna do. I want to basically fill this in. Now what I tried to buy was um, some dreadlocks extensions that were already like done. And I was just going to like put these in here and try to make them blend. But here's the issue. It's two different sizes and I didn't want it. And also, they also look very different. I'm going to put them up close so you can see. Let me see. Like, it's like two different types. You, you see that? So what I did was I just bought another wig. So we won't be using these, but I will use these for like to make my own wig, my own dread wig, but we'll do that later. So what I wanted to do was just buy two wigs and take some of the locks off of the wig that um, I'm not going to use. That I want to use one that's closer to my hair, and I think the 1B is actually going to be the one that I'm going to use as my... A choice and I'll just put the black ones in there. So for this video I'm going to be using a glue gun. I just purchased this one at Party City. I think this was like $3.99 and then they had some mini glue sticks too. Um, I, I had bought like some huge glue sticks in a bulk but I think it's too big for my glue gun so I'm going to have to uh, get a bigger glue gun for that one. But for now I'll just use these and get to the point. So what I'm going to do First is, let me open this up. Um, here we go. I might have to sit on the other side so I can be closer to the wall next to the socket. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get closer to the wall if you don't mind. All right, give me a second. So yeah, I'm never glamorous when I do these kind of videos. I'm kind of just like, you know, just chilling around the house. It's, it's too much for that. Now I think I'll just leave this on there because I don't want to start breaking out from not from touching it. So let me just leave that on there. This is the color of the one. Okay. And then this is the one B. It's really not that much of a difference. Honestly. Start from the bottom. And then we'll just work our way up. So come on now, y'all knew better. Y'all, we shouldn't have to do this, but come on now. I guess. It's reasonable for the price, but still, like, so you just basically end up paying $60 to get this done if this works, okay? I'm going to take one of the dreads from the other wig, um, start from the, from the ones in the back, because I believe those are probably the longest. Alright. So I'm just going to take my scissor. Okay, I'm going to take my scissor, and I'm going to cut it. 
You need to cook. I have my dredge. I'm going to put a stick and a glue gun. Boom, boom, boom. And now I'm gonna take a chunk of this hair. Okay. So if I put some on the base, I think I'm gonna just cut the rest. If I put enough on the base, I probably don't need this. So yeah, that, that's one. That's one right there. Now after the glue, you know, dries, I'ma clean that up. But that's me putting one dread up there and then I'ma just make my way over, okay? You see, as soon as you cut it, just glue, 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 and stick. A little chopstick is helping, so if you got a little chopstick in your house, that'd be cute. You know, glue, boom. See? This is my first time doing this, so it's taking me a little, little time learning what I should be doing. Trial and error. So this is what I learned so far through trial and error. Um, just cut you out a few pieces in advance, probably like four at a time. Cut you out like four. And then basically put them all together. Even if they look raggedy, girl, just put them all together. And then take your glue gun and then try to line it up like a track. And then you just lift some of that hair that's sticking up and go under the net. Now if you layer this up with the glue, you lift the track up. Push it in that gap. I'm using my chopstick. Just start pushing it down. I don't know. I'll come over here with a huge gap. Y'all know how I do. I make my little messes first and then I clean it up before we wear it. So, like all of this, this is gonna dry. This is gonna come all out.
and even those white parts you see. Those white parts, I'm gonna use um, my gel, my black gel eyeliner to turn that um, black. So I'm going right in. This shit needs to go. This is hard. So, so far as you can see, I'm already filling in the acapisha you got right here. So, um, yeah, I'm running low on dreads, but that's okay. Because I think I might have enough to cover up that bald spot that is like noticeable as fuck. So, yeah, I just keep doing my tricks. I get about four together, line it up like a track, and then, um, figure out where the ball spot is, where I cut the hair out at, and then I just line this up. And it's gonna get a little messy, but less is more. I'm learning that as I go along, not to drown it. And then you just put it in that space. And I'm using my chopstick. And you just hold it there until it dries. And like I told you, um, whatever, whenever, wherever you see the glue at, I'm going to clean that up later. I'm just trying to show you how I'm removing all of that fucking this. <laughs> I'm removing this from your fucking wig, okay? Turning your wig into a unit. So I'm gonna clean up this spot up here, and then, uh, then the, probably a little bit whatever I got left on the sides. But um, we should be good. We should be good after I clean this up. All right, <laughs> see you in a minute. on the side so oh this bitch is heavy now <laughs> yeah it's really heavy so this is what it looks like if you move the dreads out the way you're not seeing the wig anymore you know those were the ones that I started out with when at first when I was like should I keep this no I'm not gonna keep that I'm gonna cut it Yeah, so now I replaced it with the dreads all the way at the bottom, going up to the top, and any white residue, I am going to put some um, uh, some gel eyeliner on. So let me get the sides, and then I'm going to come back to you with the gel eyeliner. No, no, I'll try. I'm not gonna cut it completely out. I'm just gonna cut it low. But I'm still like, damn, y'all. That just gave us any kind of way.
Boom. Move the head to the side. Now what? Move the head to the side. Now we're going to take the gel liner and we're going to clean it up, okay? So now I'm going to take my um, smoking cream uh, gel eyeliner in black and just a little brush. And I'm just going to basically, wherever the glue got hard at, where the glue hardened, I'm just going to take some gel and put it right over that. Another thing you're gonna have to do is make sure you run your fingers through this hair because sometimes it might come out. So yeah, once you're confident with um, your uh, dread wig and you feel like you've uh, covered up all of those spots that you could, you know, you do the best you can with both wigs. Um, now we're gonna take the, the little stuff off, cut the lace, and I'm gonna put her on and style her. We're gonna see uh, what she gives, okay? <laughs> One second. Okay, so I cut the lace and I took uh, some of my hair out. Um, I'm gonna do some more. I'm gonna brush it in there as much as I can. I brushed out most of the curls in the front. And now I'm gonna just try to blend this more. I'm glad I did use the one um, the one B though because it's gonna be a little bit more easier to blend. Then I'm going to take my, uh, I think it's even, uh, or even, even. So then I'm going to take my uh, even edge control and I'm going to just mix a little bit of that with my gel eyeliner. Yeah, and I'm just going to work my way. Now my hands is probably going to get a little dirty, but that's okay. I'm going to clean all of that up later. The main thing we're trying to do here is blend. You know I'm the mother of motherfucking camouflage, okay?
and they sell a bunch of edge controls with like a black tint in it but this one I kind of made myself So I'm gonna get my earrings. I'm gonna get my earrings and then um, I'm gonna show you the bag. Okay, one second. <laughs> so this is me with my earrings. Oh, I'm living for this. I even got my little parts going on. Okay, and it's starting to get hard work. And then as it dries, it just starts to look more realistic. See, we're under the light. We're under the light, so I'm going to show you when I'm not beaming. But, yeah. Let me basically turn around now so you can see the difference of me before when I was afraid to put this on to show you back. Girl, now you do better out Trey. Why would y'all give us this? Okay, this is basically what's under that motherfucking dragons, okay? Girl, you tried that. Well, then you ought to take it as a compliment. You look at it like well, that. Tell me everybody. Good. You should take it as a compliment. You had all the men. She probably was jealous of you. And I guarantee you, you're gonna go through that the rest of your life as long as you be gay. You're gonna have haters. I'm being real with you because I heard about you. I was waiting on you at the door. But yeah, here's a real reveal. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> so this is now the back. So I don't know, best friend, tell me what you think. And I can't see the back, so I'm not trying to even place. Let's say, let's just say you was like chilling with your friends, right? And you decided to split your hair or some shit like that. This is what they'll see. Do you feel comfortable with that? Now I probably can go back in and get any white patches if you do see any. But I think this is like everything. It feels like heavy a little bit. But that's what dread's supposed to feel like. Like yes, that's bomb. So this is me with the baby hairs out. Um, you can just clean that up, you know. This is me using a baby hair. So if you don't want to have your hair out, you can just do this. And it still looks good. Like I said, if you get any of them pulled out, just glue it back on child like a track, you know? But you have so many in your head, so like, what are you really worried about? Like if one slip, just put that shit in your purse real quick or your pocket, be good to go. Um, hold on, let me give you a little you know. Mm. I'm just saying like <laughs> you know, just chilling or whatever, you know. Yeah. And how long you been growing your dreads? Um you know for about three hours. <laughs> but it's worth it. It looks so good. It really looks natural. Now I'm gonna tell you this: if if you want this look, you're gonna have to really sit there with that glue gun and just fill it in because you don't want to just throw that wig away. Like it's really a good wig. Like it does look like dreads. Like yo, it really <laughs> looks like dreads. I'll try. I gotta give you credit for that. Now y'all were kind of selfish. With the dreads though, like I had to put in basically two wigs up in this motherfucker to get what I wanted. But I love it. I fucking love this wig. Like I'm gonna be wearing this wig often, especially in the winter time. Very much just gel up my uh, hair and go. You know, just gel it up and go. And like I said, it looks shiny right now. What's that? That wasn't a dread. I think that was just some crumble. Yeah. 
you know, right now it looks kind of um, shiny in the front, but it start to dry. You can put some black gel on it, wrap your hair up at night. You know what I'm saying? Like wrap the front and boom, you're good to go. <sighs> it was a task, but I think I did it. I think I accomplished what everyone was being so pissed about. So if you like this video, uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will make more on trying to fix issues with wigs that are cheap that you want to make look like you spent more than what you paid for it even though I did like this is like what $60 instead of 30 now my other wig I love it even though it only can be done in like one good style you probably can do some twists on the side but it's like what two to three good styles from it but I can like wear this however I want to wear some up down now oh my god this is awesome I, I kind of just like it down because it just looks already done to me so yeah, um, I hope y'all like this video and, you know, see you next time, best friend. Bye, girl. You know, I always give you the motherfucking D, the motherfucking D. <laughs> okay, now I just wanted to show you what it looks like as it's drying. Like, it's getting very, very natural looking. And like, yo. <laughs> This is so cool. This is so cool. So yeah, my, my little trick came out good. Okay, pat on the back. Go ahead, Sasha, I see you, girl. Um, yeah, dope. 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 So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, love you, best friend. You better thank me later, girl. I just hooked you up. <laughs>